I inherited this old desk lamp from my late grandfather who used it as a work light. Rather than throwing it out, I decided to fix it as good as possible and to make it useful again. There's a huge problem in here. What I thought was a pin or a rivet of sorts turned out to be a broken off screw. In my attempts to force out the pin, I broke off one of the mounts on the base. The two arms were riveted together. For better painting and rust removal, I decided to cut them apart. Up next, away with the old paint. This should be easy, right? Just a bit of wire wheel and some angle grinder action. Well, it turns out that the lampshade wasn't painted, it was enamel coated on both sides. That stuff is murder to remove. And yes, I was wearing goggles and a respirator. I used up two discs from my angle grinder on the outside alone, so I decided to try some more brute force. Just pounding away on the inside, crushing the animal, which left the sheet metal in a rather interesting state. Once I had all the paint removed, I tried to solder that broken off piece onto the base. Well, nope, just nope. Heating up a huge lump of cast iron to melting point of any useful solder is beyond my capabilities. Welding it is then. I also tried to drill a hole and maybe screw the pieces together. Also nope, way too hard. I read that welding cast iron might leave it brittle, but since it's just a desk lamp I didn't care much. Either that or the trash pile. Well, it took some time to strike an arc, but eventually that worked. To make sure the iron wouldn't rust again anytime soon, I painted it with some rust proving first. For the lampshade I used copious amounts of speckle to even out the surface as good as possible. Which is to say, just a bit better than it was, because that round shape was not easy to combat. After sanding and repeating the process twice to get the shade smooth to the touch, I painted it white on the inside and green on the outside, just as it was before. That paint is also on my never again list. It just wouldn't cover anything with less than three layers. Ugh. The trimmings of the lamp were made of brass. I polished them up and gave them a clear painting to prevent oxidation. To connect the two pieces for the arm again, I decided to use a piece of threaded rod and some nice brass nuts, along with a bit of brass tubing to hide the rod in the center. Looks pretty nice, if you ask me. I first tried to resurrect the lamp's tilting mechanism. It relies on the tiny screw squeezing the arms together against a metal arc in the base. But that was futile. It just wouldn't stay in place and kept scraping the paint off. I have to come up with some solution for that. Finishing the electrical work, I decided to throw out the old lamp, wires and fitting and replace them with something more stylish. The only cable I could find that had a cloth insulation look was a cable for an iron. I would prefer a black one, but okay, let's use this one. For the lamp, I got myself a fancy, vintage look-alike LED bulb. It is nice to look at and gives awesome yellow light. 
For the tilting mechanism, I finally decided just to lock it in place by drilling a hole through the metal and putting a pin through. Well, darn, another drill bit gone. But at least the lamp is now upright. Touching up the coloring a bit and finished in all its new glory. <laughs>